Land champion should, and his people are extremely proud of him right now as he goes into the winner's circle. That is Nihilator, the richest harness horse in history, the first one over $3 million in career earnings, and he goes off to stud as the champion he is. Nihilator, the winner of the Breeders' Crown three-year-old Colt Pace. He, of course, is the son of the great Niatros, who has uh, moved this year to Saratoga Standard Breds in upstate New York. Uh, Niatros was, at the time he retired, the richest harness horse in history. He is still the fastest in terms of a time trial. And everybody's getting kisses in the winner's circle. Nihilator got a little one. Bob Bonney got one. And, uh, yes, this is how they wanted to do it. Bill O'Donnell wanted very much to win this after last week's race in which uh, his horse was beaten. And everybody's going to be posing for pictures. Of course, everyone wants to pose with Nihilator. It's a nice way for him to go out, isn't it, Stan? It is that. Ernie Gaskin, who you saw in the green and white silks of the Houghton Stable, is the immediate trainer of this horse. Bill Houghton, of course, is the overseer and the master trainer who brought this horse to greatness, developed him, brought him out. But Ernie Gaskin has been training him and with him as the chief lieutenant in the Houghton Stable. And Ernie's down there now enjoying part of the Victory Lane ceremonies with all of those Wall Street, appropriately named Wall Street <laughs> stable members. Annihilator is uh, is behaving fairly well. He's not known as the sweetest tempered of horses. The sire Niatros is, is a very good natured horse who even now you can go up to and hug around the neck. Well, Nihilator doesn't really like all that petting business too no. much. Niatros was a much more stolid horse, I think, uh, than uh, Nihilator. As you can see, this horse has a little bit of temperament. Niatros used to stand like a statue. There's Bill Houghton now at the, the horse's head. Trainer Bill Houghton, also a great driver, Hall of Fame trainer and driver, with Bill O'Donnell and Ernie Gaskin right behind him, who has been handling the immediate day-to-day -day training of the horse. Well, we are going to take a short break, and as we look at it, take a look at the payoffs, because this was an odds-on favorite finishing first and second. 220 and 210, no show betting. Back with more in a minute. State Park, where Nihilator has, as expected, won the Breeders' Crown race for three-year-old pacing colts and geldings, and even though the win was expected, that doesn't mean it wasn't a so source of great joy to the owners and trainers of this great horse. There are uh, celebrations underway in the winner's circle. Kenny Rice is in the winner's circle, so let's go to Kenny right now. And it's a lot to celebrate tonight as Nihilator goes over the three million mark, and this man goes over the ten million mark. Bill O'Donnell, congratulations on the victory. Thank you very much, Ken. He seemed to do about everything that I would imagine you wanted him to do. You got some easy first fraction. You close out in 26 and looked like no one was there to challenge. Yeah, he was really good. Last week he was real good also, but, you know, he just got a tough trip. And tonight, you know, 26 flat, and he still was patient at the wire. He still had some left. How good is this horse? Best I ever saw, or best I ever driven, at least, anyway. Did you have a chance to see Niantros very much? Does it compare favorably, you think, to his sire? I saw him. You know, I raced against him maybe once or twice, but, you know, comparing, I mean... Now he tries to be good to us. Yeah. He'd give us this one. Yeah. Congratulations. How do you feel about this 10 million mark? You're the first man to go over 9 million. Well, try it again next year. Okay, good luck. Thanks very much, Bill O'Donnell. Okay. Good seeing you again. With me, some of the happy folks from Wall Street Stable, Mr. Lou Guider, Mr. Bob Bonney. Lou, congratulations. He goes out as a champion should. Yeah, that's just the way we hoped he would. Now, is this officially his last race, and it's on now to Almahurst Farm in Kentucky? Yes, it is. This is his last race. What has impressed you most about your, your Colt and all the great races that he's had? Is there one thing that stands out in this moment? Right now, this race stands out in this moment. That 20 second, 26 second last quarter uh, was very impressive. And it, we wanted the Breeders' Crown to be as triumphant as it has been. And we're just thrilled about it. And we had Chairman of the Board who was second, so it was a great night. I think sometimes people forget uh, Bob Bonney, all the good horses in that Wall Street stable when you look first off at the great one, like Nile. He's the biggest thrill of my life. He's just the greatest horse I've ever seen race. 26 second quarter, mile 53, November 29th. I can't think of another horse ever done something like that. It is a cool, it's a cool night here. It sure is. And he did it the right way. He's a great, great horse. But you don't need a top coat when you got that crystal, right? Great pleasure and a great team. Great team put the source where he is today. Bob, congratulations. Lou, congratulations on the Wall Street Stable for having a great one. Nihilator does everything everyone expected him to tonight. Sharon.